doing our routines we wake up in the morning and we have our breakfast now this is part of nighttime routine so let's have a look see William was tired and decided to try and put himself to bed so William climbed the stairs up to bed William and Teddy Eddie were jumped into bed but William couldn't sleep he sang a song to himself, he looked at the pictures in the picture book. This is easy, thought William. I can do this all by myself. William snuggled down again, but he still couldn't sleep. He searched for his monster and his jingly lamb. He jingled and jangled the way down the bed. He searched for his train and his soccer ball, and for the comic he kept next to his head. But William still couldn't sleep. Oh no, said William. I haven't brushed my teeth. He marched up to the bathroom. Ah, oh, the huge giant with stumpity feet, he growled. Stomp, stomp, stomp. He brushed his teeth up and down, up and down. I did it, I did it, all by myself, said William. William skipped to his room. Teddy Bull was playing hide and seek. Let's all play, said William. So William played hide and seek with Monster and Jingly Lamb and Teddy Edward and Teddy Bull. Then William felt tired. He climbed into bed and snuggled up with Teddy Bull. He stroked Teddy Bull's ears. He twiddled the label on Teddy Bull's back. I'm sure I've forgotten something, thought William. But what was it? His empty chocolate box was there, his plastic duck with the squeaky beak was there, so was his quilted ball that boinged when he threw it against the wall. William squeaked duck's beak, he boinged the quilted ball against the wall, he bounced up and down, then he lay down, but William still couldn't sleep. My teddies can't sleep either, said William. He took all his teddies and lined them up from Teddy Small to Teddy Big, from Crocodile to Mrs. Pig. He covered them with a blanket and gave them a good night kiss. Then he tried to go to sleep, but William still couldn't sleep. William watched the stars twinkling. He thought he could count them in the sky, but there were just too many. Suddenly William remembered something, something he had forgotten. Something he had thought he was too grown up for. Then he heard someone climbing the stairs. He heard footsteps outside his door. It was his mother. Have you come to tuck me in, asked William. No, William, his mother said. You've managed that all by yourself. Yes, I have, said William. But will you do it tomorrow? 